Right, so this is day four, three of leveling. It's looking really level. We've just got to go around and around the post where they can't get to. We've just got to scrape this away, and then they can do a final tune. So they've they roughed it up. This is how I'm going to explain it. They roughed it up, and then they've rolled it, and then they're going to come back and like cultivate the top inch, like rough it up even finer, apparently. And then I think it's done. I don't know if they're rolling it or not, but um, we've just got some things to fit on this wall this week. These are the brackets that then go on to hold this box section, and then this box section holds the trough in, and the irrigation goes to it, and what else goes to it? I think that's it. Just the irrigation, and then the trough in sits on it, yeah. So we've got to assemble these, and we're going to use a laser to get these all the right height all the way along. And we'll do that over the weekend, we'll get them all finished, ready. I don't know, we could have the afternoon off. is a rig. Woohoo! It's tiny compared to ours. And the older one. Woo. Hello. I think it's week 22. I have no idea. I'm so sorry. I've been so bad at recording the last few weeks, but we've been cleaning. So this week we have had the levelers here to level the ground and we've got this place ready for disinfecting tomorrow also outside we've been putting up the brackets on the far walls ready for the irrigation on monday so we're just leveling it up now getting with the laser making sure it's all correct height and whatnot and then the shuttering arrived for the concrete so that's the concrete path that goes down the middle and in the annex and i'm not sure if they're doing the outside pad yet or afterwards i think over the weekend we have Anton back with his welders to finish off the heating pipes which is like the ones that we've run on and then it'll be the grow tubes after that but he's just been off for a few weeks he's not been needed so yeah they've just like finished leveling it and the TPS guys have like shifted it all out because it was quite high so they had to sit quite a bit out. Vor Winden has just come back as well so they're just finishing off a few bits that they couldn't get to last time because there was like big holes everywhere so they're just coming to finish that off and then it's looking great so that means we're ready for christmas and they'll just be pipe painting and just getting all the once the pipes are welded we can paint it we can put the mypex down after that and then the mypex goes down and then the stands go down and then the pipes go onto the stands and then the guttering comes it's already here but it gets shaped and rolled out on the 18th of january so we have a deadline yeah it's all going really well as you see i'm cleaning the top of the screen cabinet because tomatoes get everywhere and we get rid of all of our tomatoes. So, oh yeah, every little helps. And this place will be fogged tomorrow. So that will be stinky, but great. Uh, this is the first time we've fogged this greenhouse because we normally just spray disinfectant. So this is our first time using a fogger. Did it across the road a few weeks ago and then we'll do it in here. And yeah, it'll be really good and it'll hang around for like a week or so. So yeah, it's cool, very cool. So this is how we're looking. The crew finished hoovering just this morning. That's like the third hoover we've done, I think. Just looking, obviously it's stained, but what can you do? It is a greenhouse. So it's like ready. So we're dead chuffed with it. Oh, and another really exciting thing that came today was the rig. So 
we've got another feed rig which will do this block and then the following block when we do that but it's tiny compared to the rig we've got for like this it's really small we were expecting like a huge mass of rig but it's not it's really cool so i think that will be done next week that will get fitted probably not hooked well maybe hooked up i don't know but it'll get fitted anyway so yeah busy week next week and then it is christmas Okay, start of another week, and it's a very quiet week. We've just had the welders come, so the pipes arrived, so they'll start finishing the heating pipes, start welding it all, and then we can paint it. And it looks like we're having some tarmac being put down, because um, we've dug across, obviously we've dug up the road and then we've dug across the gateway, so it looks like the tarmac in it, but I think they've still got another hole to dig, so a bit confusing, but nonetheless, that's fun. <laughs> Heating pipe has arrived. We have stands, there is heating pipes, we've got we've got it all here this week. Yeah. <laughs> so we've had the that one. There we go, this is Tony just said we need to get this. This right here on record, look at that. Beautiful. <laughs> Things are starting to look a bit tidier here. So some of the stones have been used in various spots. And here in the driveway, we're filled in and we're just gonna let it sink and then come back and fill it in accordingly. And then I think we might just tarmac it. Not sure yet. But for some reason they did a random patch of tarmac yesterday here. Interesting. And obviously there's a bit of work to do here. I think we might stone it just so that we get the footpath back. But that's on our half, not anybody else's. So there's that to do. Well, it's going well, and we've started on the painting today. And just seeing if we can re roll this, just get it as flat as possible. So we've had to drive back over it, even though it was levelled at the weekend. But it, it's not bad, but as you can see, there's like turn marks and stuff from the tractor, but there's no other way to get the pipes out. So it's just happens that we've kind of done it the wrong way around so this is the patch that we've just rolled so we're just testing to find out a method see if we can use our grader to loosen it and then roll it after so we will see Alright geezers, it's been Christmas. Um, I've not been here for a while so I'm just going for a wander to see what's happening. I've heard that Tony has been very busy. There's no staff on site. All the contractors clocked off Christmas Thursday before Christmas. So that's all quiet but Tony never rests. He's always got something, always like a little project or a little plan. So um, let's go find out what he's been doing. <laughs> It's all nice and clean in here. Ignore the stain, please. That is a very touchy subject. But 
everyone's all nice from how we left it before Christmas. But I think Tony might be busy in here. Hello. What have you been doing in here? <laughs> no way, you've been so busy. You've got ADHD, mate. You never rest. You never rest. <laughs> it looks good, though. I could get with this, so I present the new um, storage shed. I think that's about it, isn't it? <laughs> so this is going to be mega storage for old trolleys, a crop rotation equipment, we're going to have glass downstairs, um, more crop rotation equipment, maybe some tanks that we use when we're power washing and pulling out, all over here, just get a little pump truck. There will be a railing and then also there'll be stairs, obviously. You're not going to float up here. Yeah, it just means that the vestibule gets freed up for space because we need to have a bigger fridge. So where do we put everything? Final piece going in. Over there. Thank mm -hmm. you.